The Serapium is a name given to every temple or religious structure dedicated to the worship of the monotheistic god Serapis, a sacred cult in Egypt in the Hellenistic era that combines two of the ancient Egyptian gods, Osiris and Apis, question mark. There were many places of worship for this religion, and each one was called in Latin, or in Greek. And it was built during the reign of Ptolemy III, who ruled from 246 BC to 22 BC the most famous Serapium for the worship of the god Serapis in the city of Alexandria. In any case, the destruction of the Serapium of Alexandria is interpreted as the end of the use of this place for the cult of Serapis as it was seen by ancient and contemporary writers as the culmination of the movement aimed at suppressing all non-Christian sects in Egypt during the 5th century. Indeed, it seems that during the reign of Ptolemy I Soter, the first temple of Serapis was established. It was a simple and modest building built in the Greek style, until it later became rich in Egyptian architectural elements. According to one of the traditions that has no historical reference, the king took the statue of the god from the city of Sinop, located on the Black Sea coast facing the Crimean Peninsula. The behavior of the first ruler of the Ptolemaic family had purely political dimensions, aiming to make both citizens of Greek and Egyptian descent participate in the worship of the protector deity, in whom the attributes of the Greek god Zeus and Hades are united with the attributes of the Egyptian gods Osiris and Apis. According to the Greek geographer Strabo, the building of which no trace remains was located in the western part of the city. Ptolemy II also added to the temple a library smaller than the Library of Alexandria and more famous, containing 42,800,000 papyrus scrolls. Ptolemy III entrusted the architect Parmenescu with the task of re-establishing the building and the temple includes a statue of the god Serapis. Serapis comes in the form of a bearded man seated on a throne carrying on his head a basket full of seeds, and in his raised left hand he holds a long scepter, while his right hand rests on the head of the dog Kerberos. The temple was radically changed by the Roman Emperor Claudio, 41-54 BC. In this way, the city of Alexandria was decorated with many buildings, the Serapium Temple and the library attached to it, the Temple of Anubis, the Temple of Ibi, the ancient tombs of sacred animals, the obelisks of Seti I and the Column of Masts, which is still in place since the 3rd century. During the reign of Emperor Tarjan, 98-117 BC, a rebellion by the Jews occurred in Alexandria, which led to the destruction of the Serapium. Emperor Hadrian, 117-138 BC, rebuilt the temple and added to it a large statue of the Apis Bull, which is currently kept in the Greco-Roman Museum in Alexandria, after its discovery in 1895. Excavations in 1944 led to the vicinity of the Mast Column, which was built in honor of the Emperor Diocletian, the discovery of the foundation deposits of the temple, which relate to two groups, each consisting of ten plates, in one group there is one plate of gold, another of silver, another of bronze, another of dried Nile silt, and five sheets of opaque glass. Each plate bears texts in Greek and hieroglyphs relating to the decree issued by Ptolemy III to build a temple in the same area. Foundation deposits for a temple dedicated to Harpocrates built during the reign of Ptolemy IV were also found. The temple remained in activity over the centuries as an important place of pilgrimage until 391 BC, when the library was besieged by the Pope of Alexandria, Theophilus, at the head of a religiously fanatical mob regarding the comparison between the Christian community in Alexandria and the non-Christian one. The Serapium was demolished one stone after another, and a church of John the Baptist was built on its ruins, which existed until the 10th century. According to tradition, entry to the temple is through a large staircase, its outer walls are covered with marble, while its inner walls are covered with precious metals. In the inner sanctuary of the temple is the great statue of Serapis. 
Egypt Alexandria. Pompey's Pillar. Jpg. Destruction of the Serapium of Alexandria. After Emperor Theodosius issued decrees banning the practice of all pagan worship and entering temples, the temples were no longer used as places of worship and ended up being destroyed or used for other tasks, and sometimes they were used as churches, which led to the creation of some cases of chaos and disobedience. These events also befell the Serapium of Alexandria, which was destroyed in the year 391. With regard to the exact description of this destruction, the sources presented are not completely identical. The Christian historian Sazuman recounts in his book Ecclesiastical History that after the emperor's decision to convert the pagan temple into places where Christian worship is practiced, armed chaos erupted by the pagans who came to occupy Serapium and torture and massacre Christians. After the end of this occupation, the emperor ordered the destruction of the Serapium, but this destruction was only inflicted on pagan symbols, so that he could later convert the temple into a church. The Christian monk and historian Rufinus de Aquileia presents in his book Ecclesiastical History a version that is very similar to that mentioned by Suzuman in his book, except for what was said that the Serapium was completely destroyed and a group of monks from the desert settled on its ruins. A third version, relating to the events leading up to the destruction of the Serapium of Alexandria, shows how Theophilus found himself trapped inside the Temple of Mithras. During the excavations, some human skulls appeared on the surface, which were taken as evidence of the bloody crimes committed by the pagans. After the non-Christians felt insulted by this behavior, they put Theophilus under siege, following what happened in the account that came in the previous version. Some non-Christian writers, such as Onabio, a historian of the Neoplatonic period, added alternative versions to the previous versions, in which he says, the Serapium was destroyed without reasonable cause and without the slightest indication of civil war, and the statues were stolen, and only the floor of the temple remained intact due to the heavy weight of its stones. After that destruction, the wreckers boasted that they had destroyed the gods, and the so-called monks entered these places, and they are human in their appearance, but like pigs in their clothes and food. In these texts, a group of Christians were attributed to some methods aimed at destroying the Serapium and stealing what was not destroyed. Human skeletons of criminals and Christian slaves who were killed by pagans were placed in churches and were considered martyrs. The Serapium of Saqqara is one of the most important tombs built in Memphis. It is located in the burial complex of the Calf Apis and reflects a manifestation of the living aspect of the god Ta. The oldest burials of sacred mummified calves, preserved in sarcophagi, date back to the reign of Amenhotep III. In the 13th century BC, the son of Ramesses II, Kamwas, dug the tunnel in a mountain with niches carved on its sides containing the sarcophagi of calves. Samtikai built a second tunnel, 350 meters long, 5 meters high, and three meters wide, which was later used by the Ptolemies. The corridor of 600 sphinxes that connects the site to the city is likely one of Nectapioi's work. The Serapium was discovered by Egyptologist Auguste Mariette, who excavated the bulk of the complex, but the manuscripts he wrote on this matter have been lost, and this limits the possibility of using the tombs to form a chronology of Egyptian history. The problem lies in the fact that in the period between the reign of Ramesses the 11th to the 22nd year of the reign of Osorkin II, which is a period estimated at about 250 years, only nine burials of calves were found. This number also includes three tombs that do not currently exist, but were seen by Mariette, who said he found it in an underground chamber so unstable that it could be excavated. Egyptologists suggest that there should have been a greater number of bull burials in this period, since the average age of the bull was between 25 and 28 years, if it did not die before that. There are four burials attributed by Mariette to the reign of Ramesses the 11th that were dated backdated, which created a time gap of nearly 130 years that researchers tried to bridge in various ways. 
According to some, the entire chronology of the 20th century must be reconsidered, and according to other researchers, there are other burials of the Apis bull yet to be discovered. Serapium Canopus Another temple of the Serapium is located near Alexandria at Canopus on the Nile Delta. This temple dedicated to Isis and her husband Osiris became one of the largest religious centers in Egypt in the Ptolemaic and Roman eras. Thus, its celebrations and rituals became popular to the extent that the temple became a model for the Egyptian temple that was famous throughout the Roman Empire. In this model, there is a sacred courtyard with burials of the gods, and it is located at a distance from another courtyard that includes a number of columns. Within this sacred courtyard, there are niches and gods that are less widespread than the Hellenistic Egyptian gods. The gods Hermes and Thoth, and Harpocrates and other gods. The complex joins a basin of water, symbolizing the annual flooding of the Nile. In addition, there were central basins used to supply water used in the ritual cults of Isis in other temples dedicated to Egyptian deities in Roman times such as the Temple of Delos. Serapium Temples in Italy The Serapium in Ancient Rome The cult of Serapis, closely related to the cult of Isis, in the Roman Hellenistic period witnessed clear changes surrounded by mystery. Temples dedicated to Egyptian cults were built beginning in the 1st century BC in Rome and then spread to different parts of the Roman Empire. Serapium in the province of Atacama The Atacama district of Rome gave its name to a temple dedicated to the Egyptian gods Isis and Osiris. The Temple of Isis was built by Quintus Cassilius Metellus in the first half of the 1st century BC to celebrate the victory over Jugurtha. In the past, the temple complex, of which only a few foundations remained, was built on an open site. The complex was rebuilt in the era of the Filvian dynasty, and the cult of Serapis was joined with the cult of Isis. The building was demolished around the 6th century. Serapium, Campo Marzio. Romo Balisco Rotunda. JPG. The largest Egyptian temple in Rome was built in the Campo Marzio area. The temple, which is 240 meters high and 60 meters wide, is divided into three parts. In the middle, there is a rectangular area that is entered through archaeological arches. Then comes a square decorated with obelisks and sphinxes in the middle of which is the Temple of Isis. Serapis is supposed to have been located inside a semicircular portico in the temple. The building was destroyed by a fire in the year 80 BC and was rebuilt by Emperor Domtion. After that, the emperor added some modifications to it, and in the era of the ruling dynasty, a large part of the buildings were restored, and the temple survived until the 5th century. Among the obelisks that are still visible until now were the Pantheon Obelisk, the Obelisk of Minerva and the Dogali Obelisk, and the Statue of Isis, known as Madama Lucretia, was attached to the temple and placed in front of the Basilica of San Marco. Serapium Quirinali Another great temple to the Serapium was built on the Quirinal Hill, the remains of which can be seen in the Italian gardens of Colonna. The temple, which was built by Emperor Caracalla, extends on an area of 135 meters by 100 meters. It is divided into two parts. The first part is a courtyard with long columns leading to the second part, which is the original temple, and it is decorated with statues and obelisks. Statues symbolizing the Nile River and the Tiber River lead to the archaeological complex which were placed by Michelangelo in front of the Senate Palace. Hadrian's Villa Serapium Canopus Vanif Serapium JPG Emperor Hadrian built in his villa at Tivoli a temple similar to the Serapium of Canopus. The 119-meter by 18-meter bathtub is a vaulted canal of water with columns and statues leading to the Serapium. The temple consisted of a public part leading to a place for banquets and water games and several private underground spaces dedicated to the worship of Serapis. 
The temple took the form of a cave decorated with Egyptian sculptures and statues to perpetuate the memory of Antonius, who died by drowning in the Nile and had a great status with the emperor. In commemoration of the opening of the temple, Hadrian ordered the minting of coins with a picture. In the end, I thank Jason for your follow-up. We hope to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button, and do not forget to like. We also await your support through the Super Chat and the Thank You feature.